Graph-based motion representations are now a standard technique for real-time character animation. Although these methods are extremely useful, shortcomings persist. For instance, it is difficult to create characters who can respond quickly to user input. We propose a new representation for character animation called a motion field. This technique is highly flexible, simple to implement, easy to use, and capable of producing character controllers that rapidly respond to user input. Here are two controllers built from the same underlying data. The character animated using a motion field can change direction in a very agile manner, while the graph-based controller is substantially slower to respond. We can better illustrate this difference in responsiveness by comparing the two approaches on a set of different turns. Although the graph-based method will sometimes respond quickly, it often exhibits a noticeable lag before changing direction. In addition to providing responsive characters, motion fields make it easy to incorporate external disturbances into motion synthesis. Even in cases such as this one, where the underlying data only contains simple walks with no pushes, we can generate plausible responses to disturbances. Here, we show the character responding to perturbations in the absence of user control. Motion fields automatically provide the ability to, say, change the direction of a character's walk by simply pushing them. They also allow arbitrary disturbances, including many simultaneous forces. Of course, if we don't have any data resembling a natural response to a disturbance, implausible results are possible. This problem can be alleviated by including data containing some motions where the character is pushed. Even with this data set containing only seven push motions, we can achieve rich results. Since we do not require any parameterization of possible disturbances, we only need to provide a small set of sample data to allow both realistic pushes and hand pulls. Here we demonstrate a series of basic turns executed by controllers ranging from no compression to 30 times compression of the value function. 30 times compression, our controller performs similarly to a graph-based approach. Lower compression rates provide a continuous trade-off between performance and space. Here is another sequence, this time of quicker turns. This line-following task demonstrates that our technique is not limited to one-dimensional tasks. Of course, our character can run or perform other motions if we supply appropriate motion data.